But it's a beautiful moon tonight. And I'm guessing that's probably Venus next to it. Um, I think it'll be a new moon tonight. So, uh, in terms of um, moon cycles and things, which I'm uh, still learning about, <coughs> then uh, you know, working uh, as the moon obviously does draw the the fluids on our planet, which uh, includes the fluids in our body, then uh, you know, whilst we've got New Year, it's a wonderful time for making new resolutions and changing, uh, making, making good changes, positive changes, New Year's resolutions. Um, we can make this any time. Uh, obviously, as a therapist, then we work with people making changes and uh, improving their lives and becoming healthier. Um, in mind and body, and uh, the uh, the moon is a the new moon is a time when <coughs> many people use the light uh, from the moon, the reflection of the sun, to uh, make those changes as well. Um, and in terms of gardening, gardening with the moon does uh, does improve results, I think. And um, yeah. You know, there's planetary, uh, you know, planetary bodies, the bodies of light, the heavenly bodies. They do, uh, they do work with, with us here down on planet Earth. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So let's uh, use uh, time. We can make changes anytime. But uh, New Year is always a good time for making changes uh, and new plans. So yeah, I've made uh, made my plans or some of my plans for next year, and uh, just setting them all out, making my goals and things that I want to attain to. And uh, I'd like to share my uh, my work of poetry and spoken word and uh, my photographs. I'd, so I'd like to do some exhibitions this year. Uh, so I need to find out more about doing that and um, um, find out <coughs> um, about performing at perhaps some festivals and taking my my books and my site CDs and I'm going to make some t-shirts so uh, and then do some stress management uh, workshops as well so I'd like to do that <coughs> um, so those are my, some of my new year aspirations um, and then today is epiphany so uh, later on tonight, I'll uh, read my Christmas Eve magic poem, which looks at the uh, the gifts that the three kings bring to Jesus, um, and of course the gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Um, the gold is the least tarnishable element. Um, so if we transfer that onto man, then we get tarnished by sin. So uh, the, the more gold we can be, the more positive we can be, the less negative and therefore we become through sin. So gold, in accord with not positively dying from eating from the bad knowledge of the tree of life, uh, of uh, good and evil. Um, so that's Genesis 2.17. And then um, the frankincense, so I'm an aromatherapist. And frankincense is the most wonderfully relaxing oil and takes us out of the stress response and it calms us and brings us into that parasympathetic uh, nervous system, <clears throat> which is where the healing comes from. Um, so the parasympathetic nervous system is where the body regulates itself, looks after itself and uh, the energy of, uh, of love, of peace, of course it all comes from peace. And in order to attain to peace, when we've lost our peace, we need to have wonderful counsel. And the love of God, uh, Jesus Christ, is the wonderful counsellor and, uh, and Prince of Peace. And that princely rule is due to come, as is the golden rule. So the golden rule to uh, love others as self, to love God first, which means not to sin or hurt another, in accord with the uh, Ten Commandments, which are the origin of the law, and we are in a rather lawless time. Hence the sickness, hence the confusion, hence the anxiety, hence the depression, hence oh, just all of the sickness and pain. It's tragic, absolutely tragic. Um, so, 
Um, yeah, and then the myrrh. Myrrh is the most uh, healing oil at the time, so the essential oils are, have all got antibacterial and uh, antiseptic values. Uh, probably some are even antiviral. Um, and they're uplifting and they're calming and they're soothing and they're uh, regulating. They just have so many wonderful properties and of course they come from the, uh, the plants and uh, flowers and herbs on our planet and the trees and the tree buds. So uh, yeah, you know, we, we have the healing gifts to uh, regulate our bodies and, and also that includes the minerals and the crystals and of course uh, some people think that they're new age and not from scripture but actually if you look at Revelation 21 you'll find that they describe the new heaven and so uh, I, I translate those healing properties and they show that conscious process for healing uh, so having the the faith um, and the courage to be able to face those hurts and fears that have caused the stress and fears which cause the anxieties and the pains and of course those are truths that we have to face and it's scary but when we're brave enough to face those then it's amazing how the body just uh, changes <laughs> just as in the twinkling of an eye and so it changes from the adrenaline response and the uh, sympathetic nervous system where the stresses are held and uh, changes to the parasympathetic nervous system and uh, that is a nervous system response and that affects the blood and it's amazing and I know it's true because it's happened to me lots of times and I know it's true because when we work with others you can see that happening and um, yeah so that's what I write about so on this uh, epiphany eve which is also the eve um, so happy Christmas to Orthodox Christians who follow a different calendar and their Christmas day is uh, tomorrow I think. So um, yeah, um, may that Christ love be understood, may be um, recognised and may you know, we bring, the, bring our world back into the laws of God if we want healing. You know, everybody can be and do what they want and uh, but if they do the things that God asks us not to do then they're going to suffer. And, um, yeah, that's why Christians uh, share the good news, because <laughs> many of them have learnt the hard way. <laughs> anyway, God bless, happy Christmas, happy New Year, happy Epiphany, and uh, may the light return. God bless.